Yo, what I got? I just um, I just wanted to talk about uh, trying not to be too hard on yourself. You know, us as creatives, we um, can sometimes push ourselves too hard. I'm definitely someone that does that. You see my face, I'm fucking tired. Like, I'm tired. You know, I'm the type of person I'm, I say, if, I, if I'm not working, then I'm missing out. If I'm not doing this, then there's someone else that's doing it and he's in front of me. You know, I believe in speaking things into existence, but maybe I do it too much. <laughs> like, every minute of the day, I imagine myself on the stage in front of that thousands of people, or I imagine myself getting interviewed by all these cool people. I imagine myself doing so many cool things, but I forget that I'm not actually there yet. And then it's like a false reality. But I know these things are going to come true, but it's, that's not my life right now. And then it kind of makes me think, oh, shit, I don't want to be here right now. Um, this isn't the place I want to be. I want to be at the top, blah, blah, blah. But greatness takes greatness takes time, you know. It's really hard to accept that, you know. So um, I was listening to my album, and I was just listening to the beats, and I was like, "Wow, I've I've just came so fucking far. I've been producing for eight months now. A lot of the beats that I made were like, let's go through them. In fact." Rock out people. I'm assuming that's what I'm gonna call it, but the rock song that was made in my um, fifth month for producing. Yeah, well, oh, six actually, six month for producing. Treat me better. I'm a person too. It was made in like my 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 fourth. Um, I don't even know if the song's actually been going to be named that, so I'm not even going to name all of them, but I, I haven't been doing this for for long. Like, I literally just started producing, and the things I'm coming up with is, is like, so good. Brilliant. Brilliant. I always wanted to have my own sound and my own style. I always wanted to be original, but I found it hard because... Because one of the reasons could be because of the people I looked up to, really. Like, I'm not going to name them, obviously, because I'm going to meet them one day, but... <laughs> um, their, their, like it's, their, their music is so easy to copy. Like, everyone sounds like these people. And then when I actually ended up picking up other influences, such as Pharrell Williams and, you know, The Neptunes, uh, Tyler... Um, I hate, I hate when people ask my influences because I always, there's so many, but I always forget the rest, except for them too. But, um, yeah, dude, when I make music, I, I sometimes I think, like, I, I kind of want to make something that they'd fuck with. But at the same time, I don't give a monkey if they fuck with it or not, but I want, I want my music to be at that, that level. So that that's definitely something that motivates me to just create better and better. But yeah, I was listening to my stuff and I was, I was just I was just so happy. Like I listened to the couple of the songs that I just brought to tears. <clears throat> Treat me better, I'm a person too. It's one of the most emotional songs I've ever made in my life. The, in, the beat, emotional as fuck. The lyrics are just fucking crazy. And it, it's it, it's mad because. When I go through all these things, and I and and then I read the lyrics, it just brings me to serious tears because the because the things that I'm saying, I need to rem remember it myself. Man said, "This game of mental health, I ain't playing it well. Overthinking is a bitch that I could say for myself." Ah. Uh. Please listen, meditation, it helps. Don't get trapped in the mental cage that you made for yourself. <sighs> that. 
It's one of the most relatable lyrics I've ever wrote in my life. Obviously, I wrote it, so wrote it, whatever it is. So it's going to be relatable to me, but that shit really got me. Because even today, I, I couldn't sleep. I was having panic attacks and all that bullshit. And then I just, I, the, the song just came in my head and then I started rapping it. And I was just like, wow. I was just in the bed just crying. I was like, what the fuck? I literally made, I'm, I'm, I'm literally living the lyrics. I'm trapped in the mental cage that I made by myself. It's really hard to get out of it. But, you know, I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there for you lot as well. I will get there. Because um, my story only gets better. Because I'm an 18-year-old boy just going through all this shit. And that means when I'm out of it, I'm going to appreciate the happiness so much more. When I go out and do things, do shows, get, get shown love, I'm going to appreciate it so fucking much because I know what it feels like to have the complete opposite. Uh, uh, yeah, man, just don't be too hard on yourself. We're all going through this life. You know, you're not on your own. The more you know, the more, the stronger you get. But you need to be able to um, handle what you know. There's a lot of things I found out about this world. You know, how the system just teaches you lies. The television tells lies to our vision. Shout out Ralph Smart. I always shout you out and love you. <laughs> you know. It's the world is backwards. You gotta go forward. <sighs> you know, you gotta love yourself. I'm saying all this, but I'm on a journey too. I don't have everything figured out. I'm tired. I work too hard. I wanna get there so fucking bad. You know, I say I wanna take a rest and I, then I end up producing like three beats. Thinking I'm okay, and then the next, then the next couple of days I'm having panic attacks. I can't sleep. I'm, you know what I'm saying? So look after yourself. Without mental health, you have nothing. Goodbye.